Good morning. Let's split the zipper panel of the Mav Pack and put the zipper in the center of the panel. This is the original pattern piece as written, and we're going to take and we're going to make it three quarters of an inch wider. So we add three quarters of an inch to accommodate for both sides of the zipper. If you use a quarter inch seam allowance when attaching the zipper. If you're going to use a 3 8 seam allowance, I would add a pinch more to the width of this panel just so you can match it up with the gusset a little bit easier. Okay, so I have my exterior zipper panel, my interior zipper panel, and my zipper. So I like to put two zipper pulls on mine. Okay, so let's get our zipper panels onto our zipper. So we're going to take our first piece, and I want to keep my flowers together. We're going to take our first piece, and I'm going to lay it on top of my zipper, right side of my fabric, on the right side of the zipper. So that's the top of my zipper, and that's going to go on top. I'm going to put a couple clips in. You can go ahead and tack this down if you like. I'm going to just take my other piece. That's going to be right side up, and I'm going to place my zipper panel on top of my right side up interior fabric. Let's clip it together, have a nice even seam allowance with my zipper, my exterior, and my interior. Honestly, I don't usually clip much past center because I like to just move it myself as I'm stitching. So let's look and see what we have. We have the exterior and the interior and they're essentially facing each other and the zipper is smashed in between but the zipper is right side up facing the exterior right side. Okay so right side, right side, wrong side, right side because when we stitch it together and we top stitch. We have the right side of our fabric on the right side of the zipper and then on the bottom we're going to have the interior is going to be showing on the inside. So hopefully that helps. But I'll go ahead and clip to the end. So now I'm going to take a scant 3 8 seam allowance just because I like to take a little bit more than a quarter inch seam allowance. Oh, I have the wrong color thread in. Actually, no, I can use purple. Purple will work. Okay, so I am using a Juki BDL 8700. It does not have a walking foot, but I do have a Teflon foot on here, and it's the quarter inch Teflon zipper foot. I use it all the time. It's just how I like to do my seams. So I have an eighth inch seam allowance, great for basting. Um, so yeah, that's what I like to use. I have text 45 thread in, bobbin and top. All right, so I do have my zippers hanging out over. That's just what I prefer. You can cut them a little bit more flush, but I like a little bit of hangover because when we go and top stitch the side of the gusset. I like to have a little zipper in there. Okay. So not quite a three eighths, but not an exact one fourth. <clears throat> stitch length of three. When my needle's down, I'm going to fold my exterior fabric back just a little bit and I'm going to move my zipper pulls beyond my needle. You don't want to sew around the zippers because they do, you can see here, they do tend to bubble a little bit. So you want to move your zippers out of the way. And then as I said, I like to take my clips off and just move my zipper over and move my exterior or interior over as needed.
Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm going to finger press my waterproof canvas back. And there's my scant 3 8 seam allowance, just a little bit more than a fourth, a little bit less than 3 8 Finger press the top panel back, then I flip it over and I pull the interior to match and then finger press. And I'll clip this together. This I want to clip well because I do not iron it. I always want to make sure that one panel isn't farther over than another, like that's not good. I don't want my interior way past my exterior. Just finger pressing. And you can always tell how straight you were with your stitching. All right, so let's go ahead and now we're going to top stitch. I'm going to switch my stitch length to five and I'm going to use a one eighth seam allowance. Bring my zippers down. Move them back. It's good to give it another little finger press as you go. Okay, and that's the first side. So let's do the next side. Okay, we're going to take our panel again. And I think I need to turn this one upside down because, let's see. There it is. There's the match. Probably really wouldn't have mattered. I probably wouldn't have had to worry about matching it up. All right, a couple of clips. We're going to end up basting this together, but later on when we do the binding, but that's another video. Okay. okay. So, what ends up happening, I saw this somewhere, I always got confused which side you put down and where and when. So whenever you're doing a panel of sorts, the exterior always goes right sides together. So how do I know which, ah, see, right sides together, right sides together, okay, right sides together. And that's just something I picked up in one of the videos, one of the tutorials, something like that. So it's the same thing. It's right side, right side, wrong side, right side. So if we took the zipper out, you're putting right sides together of these two. So just another way to think of it. All right. Make sure your ends are lined up really nicely. You don't want those to be a jar, like you can kind of see they are right here. So I actually need to move that down just a pinch. Nope. Okay, line up all of your edges. Pull my zipper up a little bit. There we go. zipper up to meet the edges of both of my fabrics and then my zippers here so it's a little funny but I'll fix that once I've started stitching and I'll move my zipper up once I stitch down this side I'll move my zippers up and then this won't be bubbled see how it's bubbled you don't want to stitch you don't want to stitch over that that's not easy and not fun oops Bumped the camera. Okay. So let's go ahead and put our machine back to a stitch length of three. 
let's stitch this. Again, it's more than a quarter of an inch, but less than three eighths. And if you notice, my zipper moved. Make sure they are matched up or you're going to have a wonky looking zipper. And if you noticed, I didn't really say it, but I never pulled this. This is, it's very pliable. It's woven. Don't pull your zippers. Okay, just leave them loose and natural. If that, I guess that's the right word. You know, so I'm not pulling it to make it straight. Just let it be however it wants to be. That's when you get wavy zippers. Or that's been my experience when I've pulled the zipper to try to make it straight. Just let it be. Okay. All right, everything looks pretty good there. Stitch length of three. Okay, needle down, pull my exterior back a little bit and push my zippers. I'm gonna remove that last clip. You can see where it does shift a little bit. Just gonna match it up match up the top. I'm just going to hold it with my finger, pinch it, hold it, whatever you have to do. Put clips back. That's okay too. Press it all back. Again, match up your interior and exterior and continue to finger press. Sometimes I put clips at the ends just to get them matched up. matched up and not too wavy on the back side. See how it pulled a little bit on this side? So you can see that pulled. So I want to open that back up and smooth that out a bit. This side it pulled as well. Just open the clip. There we go. Go ahead and top stitch this back to a stitch length of five. Actually, I like to do it on this side. It doesn't matter. I could have, because my presser foot is even on both sides, I still would have had a good guide, but I'm going to do it so the edge of my fabric is here. It wouldn't matter. Um, a little early to move my feet, but that's or a little early to move my zippers, but that's okay. There we go. There's your zipper panel. Then you attach the gusset just like the directions in the pattern, top and bottom, and you're good to go. Not too bad. <laughs>